guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I achieve my beautiful blowout at home. It feels and looks like you just came from the salon. It lasts four or five days before you need to wash and shampoo your hair again, especially if you're using a dry shampoo in between. And your hair will just look really silky smooth and nice. It's taken me a little while to master blowing out at home. And I think part of the reason why I've gotten better at it over the last couple of months is first of all, I've been practicing a ton, but second of all, I feel like my hair is finally long enough that I can really get a good grip when I am achieving my blowout. So I guess the main thing is it just takes a lot of practice, so don't give up. If you just come out of the shower, you're probably not gonna be able to achieve your blowout right away, even on slightly towel dried hair, because your roots, especially if you have a thick hair, are still gonna be too damp. So you definitely wanna let it air dry, so while it's going to air dry, you can kind of prep and do your makeup or whatever. For shampoo and conditioner, I've been using this Art Naturals Argan Shampoo and Conditioner. These are really quite impressive. The shampoo and conditioner were sent to me from Art Naturals, but I have to say I've been so impressed with them. The shampoo has argan oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, and almond oil. And the conditioner, first of all, smells amazing. It smells like my favorite Thai yellow curry from my favorite restaurant, Thai Together. But it also has aloe vera, argan oil, rosemary, and thyme. Together, they are just a really great combo. And my hair is really clean feeling as well as really moisturized feeling. So check them out at artnaturals.com or on Instagram at artnaturals. To help with heat protectant, I'm going to use my John Frieda Frizzies, which I got on clearance at Shoppers for like $2. And I'm gonna use this free sample of the Josie Moran Argan Oil, which I got from a Sephora purchase. So if you check the ingredients on the John Frieda, Argan Oil is the very last ingredient. So if you add some pure Argan Oil to your mixture, I guess, you get a really high quality, really nice smoothing oil that helps tame frizz and help with heat protection. Now Art Naturals also does make Argan Oil, like 100% pure Argan Oil, and it's four ounces for $15. And compared to Josie Moran's four ounces for $120, that's a crazy deal. So I'm just gonna let my hair dry for a little bit and I will be back. To actually achieve my blowout, I'm gonna be using this Fidel Sassoon 1875 Ionic Hair Dryer. You can see it has an ion switch, which I always leave on. I always leave it on the hot setting and I always leave it on high. So high, hot, and ionized. My brush is this Goody Ceramic Ionic Professional. I think it's like, one and a half inches, maybe two inches round brush. And this thing is amazing. It's really changed my life for blowing out. It actually gets warm as well, so it kind of distributes the heat evenly while you're doing your blowout. And this blow dryer is about $30 on Amazon, so it's not an expensive hair dryer. So the key to doing your blowout, just like if you're straightening your hair, is to definitely work in small sections. I don't like to work in too small sections, otherwise it'll take forever, but I kind of work up and down my hair in about four sections each time as I go, usually concentrating most of my effort on the front sections rather than the back sections. It dries really quickly because it's not like dripping wet and it looks nice and silky and shiny. Remember when you're doing your blowout that you, the main goal of the blowout is not to like add bounce or anything to your hair, it's to straighten your hair. The bounce and like life will come naturally as you're blowing out your hair. So really concentrate on just straightening and drying the roots and flattening out those ends. My bangs, I like to go the opposite direction than they normally fall, and then when you flip them over to the correct side, they look really, really great. And they stay in place with no clips, which is also really good. There we go, there's my blow dry. So my hair looks nice and silky, and super voluminous, and my ends, they're looking pretty decent, but I do like to go back in with a little bit of just a, like two drops of argan oil and just really concentrate that on the ends of my hair just to make sure they have a ton of moisture. I also like to add a tiny bit of hairspray just to my bangs to keep them under control. I use the 
L'Oreal L Net, which smells like, it's so gross smelling, but it lasts a long time and does a good job keeping your hair in place. So that guys is my beautiful blowout. Again, it lasts me like four or five days if I touch up with dry shampoo in between. Definitely check out the Art Naturals Argan Oil shampoo and conditioner as well as their actual argan oil. They're a cruelty free brand, they have natural ingredients, they're BPA free and they're really affordable. The shampoo and conditioner together are about 26 American dollars or if you buy them separately they're about 15 dollars for 16 ounces each. So really great products, really happy with the results. I've been using it for about a month now and I'm just really really happy with it. They did send me the products, but I'm not sponsored to say anything about the product. So just to recap, I used the Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. I used some Argan Oil 100% from Josie Moran and the John Frieda Frizz Ease Nourishing Oil. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Check my other videos out. Leave a comment down below and I'll catch you all tomorrow for my next video. Bye!